Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and also Hermione. Uh, we're here today to listen to a song and, and do some reviewing stuff. So today we're reviewing the song uh, Bandoliers by Them Crooked Vultures. Hey, since I've been doing um, Queens of the Stone Age, I've been getting some requests for Them Crooked Vultures now. So uh, I, I think someone said that this band was comprised of Josh Holm, and some other people, I forget. But I was like, wow, that talent behind that band sounds amazing. Uh, I, I wish I could remember who else was in the band, but I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> but anyway, this is the first I've ever heard of them Crooked Vultures. I haven't listened to anything from them. So I'm going in totally blind, minus, you know, maybe knowing one or two of the band members and knowing kind of what they bring to the table. Uh, but as I mentioned, this does come as, come as a request. So if you have a request, please just leave it in the comments down below. Um, and hey, let's listen to this one again. It's uh, Bandoliers by Them Crooked Vultures.
you know, Dave Grohl is insanely talented. <laughs> uh, so I, I I had to look it up, but yeah, you know, them crooked vultures is Josh Holm, Queens of the Stone Age, Dave Grohl, you know, Foo Fighters, Nirvana, um, <clears throat> and then John Paul Jones. Uh, I forget what he plays in, um, but I recognize the name like just right off the bat. What does he do? Uh, Led Zeppelin. That's right, Led Zeppelin. So. Um, yeah, just insanely, insanely talented band here. Just the the three members that they have is amazing. But I gotta say, Dave Grohl to me has blown me away always. Like, dude is an incredible frontman, singer, songwriter. Just overall, he can do it all. And and to me, the drums really stuck out here. I mean, so did the guitar. Don't get me wrong. This this song was enjoyable from start to finish. Uh, but for me, you know, I love when Dave Grohl gets on the drums. So I think I'm gonna really love this band. I mean. You know, his drumming work in Nirvana was, I think, fine. I know he does drums for Queens of the Stone Age's uh, Nobody Knows, <clears throat> or No One Knows, whatever it's called. Um, and he, he, he loses his mind on that track. So I, I'm hoping, you know, somewhere in this album, there, there's, a, there's a song where he really, really gets to shine. But I think the drumming in this song really stood out to me. It was really enjoyable. And, and just Dave Grohl is, to me, like, I, I think he does get some of the recognition he deserves. But just to be as talented ha as he is, I think, uh, wasn't it the Foo Fighters' uh, first album that he recorded entirely on his own? I mean, from the guitar to bass. Uh, vocals, drums, everything, um, if I remember correctly. And dude is just, uh, to me, one of the most underrated talents of our time. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> uh, enough gushing about Dave Grohl. Let's let's uh, break the song down like we normally do. So let's start with those lyrics. Verse 1, um, oh, it's too late. I got hit by the closing door, and as I watch myself reflect on the wrong side of. So it sounds like somebody who's missed some sort of opportunity. My, you've changed, you turned a corner, I'll never go. I admit, I feel a bit deceived, you're expecting I'd follow. So maybe they missed an opportunity to sort of follow this person into a, a new um, lifestyle or what have you. But then I think looking back uh, from the other side, he's like, well, actually, maybe this wasn't for the best. You, you seem to have really changed a lot. And then, uh, bandoliers to fight me dear, nobody caused the rift, we've just grown apart now. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, a bandolier is kind of like an ammo uh, belt that goes around your chest. So, I think he's saying, like, basically in order to fight you, it's it's sort of a, it's a long battle. I'm expecting to go through a lot of ammo, in a sense, you know. So, it's one of those, it's not going to be an easy victory. Um, but at the same time, he says, nobody caused the rift. Uh, we've just grown apart now. So, prepare and take aim and then fire. Prepare and take aim and then fire on me. It's if that's the way it was to be. So, uh, maybe, you know, this relationship where the, they, they have grown apart uh, for really nobody's fault, but now I think maybe this other person in the relationship is on the, on the offensive, uh, right? Because in the pre-course, it's bandoliers to fight me, dear. So, I think it's, uh, you know, this, this relationship may have ended on mutual terms in a sense, but now the other person's kind of coming back and taking shots, right? Um I'm fooling myself, fooling myself into believing you, and all these fictionary tales you're telling yourself. Selfish, like a child that's never heard a no. I watched him ever changing you, never find us. Ah, so I wonder if that's what it was. Um, you know, they, they, they broke apart. This other person went and found someone, someone else, you know. They found a, a different love or what have you. And maybe that person has said, you know what, your ex ain't shit. You know, you should belittle him or step on him or whatever, what have you, right? Um... Bandoliers to fight you, dear. Nobody caused the rift. Can't become what I'm not. You've always had my heart. So if it must be broken. So it's kind of like, uh, again, because I think the relationship ended on mostly amicable terms. Maybe he, he still has feelings for her or what have you. And, and so it's like, you know, you've always had my heart. But if it has to be broken, then this is this is what it is. Uh, so prepare and take aim and then fire. Prepare and take aim and then fire. Um, fire away if you must, but I only came just to let you know this is goodbye. So I think he, he goes to, you know, he, he approaches her to give that closure, like, you know, this is it. And then as he's kind of giving that closure, it's like, hey, bitch, like, she's like attacking him, and it's like, whoa. Um, and then prepare and take aim and then fire, prepare and take aim and then fire, because no one man can make me die. No one can make, make me die. I think it's pretty interesting how he ends there at the end, kind of that that uh, 
the sentence of empowerment there. It's like, hey, do whatever you want, but I, I'm, I'm, I ain't going no, I ain't going nowhere, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, lyrically, I think it's kind of fun. Um, it's, it's got something to say. It kind of makes me think a little bit. It's like, am, am I reading it the right way? So, anytime a, um, a song can really make me think and, and really analyze and talk about the lyric content, I, I give it two thumbs up. Um, as far as the instrumentation goes, man, I mentioned before, Dave Grohl, super talented. Loved him on the drums here. Uh, he he got some nice little fills in there, um, and uh, he he was kind of key to kicking off a couple of transitions in there. Uh, bass sounded fine. I you know I was purposely listening and knowing that that the bassist was someone with some infam uh, some fame. I was gonna say infamy, but you know some some level of fame, um, and it, it sounded fine to me. I don't know if it really stood out to me. Um, but then I, on the flip side, the guitar really uh, the the guitar riff they had going throughout this song was really really cool. Um, just a really groovy vibe to it. I think that's kind of what Josh Holmes has been known for. From what I've heard from them, having listened to a few Queens of the Stone Age songs here now, I can tell that he, he's great at writing guitar riffs that really hook you into the song, and that's really what this guitar riff and this one did to me. It really hooked me in, and I was like, I was very much engaged with the guitar during this song. So, really enjoyed that part. Josh Holmes' vocals sound great as always. He just has this style that really fits with sort of the weirdness that you get from the instrumentation. So, overall, I'll give it two thumbs up for both the instrumentation and for the vocals. Really liked that part about it. Um, as far as replay value goes, look, I don't know if you guys saw me. I was bobbing my head the whole time. This was a really fun listen. Um, just really groovy, sounded great. I, I could really get into it. Like I said, I related there with the guitar, and uh, Dave Grohl's drumming was excellent. So that's going to bring me coming back. That's going to keep me coming back to this song. Uh, I give it two thumbs up for replay value. Can't wait to listen to it again. And um, I'm excited to see what else them Crooked Vultures uh, have to offer because I have gotten a few other requests for them that I will be getting to in the future. So you'll definitely see more from them if you keep tuning in uh in the future you know i have so i get so many requests it may be a while before we get back to them but i, I do want to let you know we will get back to them at some point um so anyway guys that's it for the review really enjoyed this one thank you for whoever requested that one really 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 good one um if you like the music as much as i did definitely go support the artists go listen to their music wherever you can um i haven't checked if they're on spotify yet but if they are you can definitely find them in my spotify playlist it's in the description below it's got every single song i've listened to so far on this channel for real this time i've been going through it and updating it sometimes i go like a week or two without updating it and i've done so many reviews that the the, the um, playlist gets real behind but there's a good like 160 songs in there now so you can spend your whole day listening to this playlist and, and never repeat a song so really fun listen um, if you want to support me, just consider doing all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, like and subscribe and comment. Uh, that's it for me, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. Bye.